I met Lisa when I was at Wright College, and she had just come back from teaching in South Africa and was looking for a job. And I thought, God, she's a little skinny, tiny little white girl going to come over here and work with me and drugs and gangs. I don't think so. We had a little interview, and I got a chance to talk to her and found out that she really had a brain in her head. I was pretty impressed. So um, she got the job, and she really, really, really won me over. We were working on a project called the Positive Alternatives Project. It was a after-school program helping kids in the inner city, and she's a natural person with children and letting them know their strengths and their opportunities, and that's how I met her. Before she ran for office the first time, you know, she was doing the same thing that she does in office. She's always ahead of the cutting edge a little bit. She was doing community police work in tough police districts. That isn't usually what a young woman is going to be doing. And she was not only doing it, but creating the model for how to do it. She chose to go into elected leadership because she saw that as another avenue for creating the kinds of change in life that she saw was so necessary. And I first met uh, Lisa Madigan back in 1997 when she was first thinking about a run for the Illinois Senate. And I was really impressed with her, not only the way she presents herself, but her resume at that point clearly showed uh, a woman who was dedicating her career to public service. She stood up time and time again, whether it was for sexual assault victims or domestic violence victims or child victims, older victims. And she was the voice that those victims didn't have collectively. A voice to those who are sometimes disenfranchised, that are marginalized, that are even in some cases even ostracized. The one thing that I appreciate about the Attorney General Lisa Madigan and the work that she's doing is that she has literally brought the office to the community. And Lisa's energy and her concern and her uh, complete dedication to making life easier for women who have been victims of violence just moved me tremendously. And she had the power to help us, and she did. She wants to know what your issues are and how she can be of assistance, whether it's directly through her office or lending the power of her office uh, through public comment or uh, through making suggestions or helping you plan. She's always interested in helping working men and women, regardless of what the issue is. She spends each and every day trying to figure out how to apply her higher order principles to real practical ways to make a difference for real people. We can be proud that Lisa Madigan really has been the people's lawyer and put our interest in a clean environment first and above those of the special interests. She can bring the match or she can bring the water. She can set it on or she can put it out. And I think that's a good thing, you know, because you need folk who can get it started but then know when to stop it. She knows the law, she knows what she wants to do, and then she can break it down so you feel that you're part of it. You can understand what she's saying. Lisa is passionate, she's fair, she's committed, she's principled, and I think underlying all of that for any public official to really know what your values are and to put those into practice is really important. I think that her time in public office so far has been a great start. She loves what she is doing, and I can't tell you how important that is for someone to do a good job. She's fun, she's just fun to be with, and particularly somebody who has the kind of job that she has, with the enormous responsibilities. She is a wonderful mother, a wonderful wife, and a fantastic, incredible friend, and a community leader that you just want to be around. You want to be around her energy. Well, I think that um, Lisa is a true public servant, uh, which is what I think that all elected officials should be. You know that glass ceiling that people talked about? She didn't just break through, she kicked it out. <laughs> there's no glass ceiling anymore. And there's a pride about the law being an instrument of justice. Her values are right, she has courage, she's got guts, she isn't afraid of anybody. She's a superb attorney general. But at the end of the day, she's a human being. And I think that's the piece that drives her, is that there's a human will, a human spirit in her that says, I gotta do what's right. When my mother passed, um, I was sitting in my apartment all by myself. When Lisa came over and just sat with me. That was one of the most powerful things anybody had ever done for me, the most loving. Just to come and sit with me, and I will never forget it. So that's 
the kind of person that Lisa is. She's somebody that when your whole world comes crashing down, she really can reach into your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, the women for Lisa Madigan are proud to present Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan.